Hi viewers, in this class I am going to discuss diastereomers. Here diastereomers means the stereoisomers which are not mirror images are called as diastereomers. Let us see, so by using a alphabet, for example if you take B, so it is a, in its mirror image it is looking like B, that's why these two are not mirror images. So these two are not mirror images. If you take B in this way, so these two are non-superimposable mirror images. That's why these two we are calling as enantiomers. These two are not mirror images. That's why we are calling them as diastereomers. So that is the difference between enantiomers and diastereomers. So just apply that to the organic compounds. Okay, here cis and trans. Cis and trans are stereoisomers, but they are not mirror images. That's why these cis and trans are called as diastereomers. In the same way, if you take erythro and trio, okay, this is erythro, this is trios, okay. In this case, these two are also not a mirror images. That's why these two are called as diastereomers. They are stereoisomers, but not mirror images. Let's take here Z and E isomer. They having same molecular formula. That's why stereoisomers, but they are not mirror images. So like that, sin and ante also. Okay, so these two having same molecular formula, but not mirror images. That's why they are also called as diastereomers. Like that, here exo endo also called as diastereomers. Meso compound plus dextro rotatory also, okay, diastereomers. Meso compound and levo rotatory also diastereomer. Sin and ante already we discussed. Epimers, epimers also diastereomers. Here, a very very important point sir. Diastereomers have different physical and chemical properties. Okay, physical and chemical properties of these two diastereomers are different. Okay, physical and chemical properties are different for diastereomers. And with one chiral center, diastereomers are not possible. For example, if you take a glycerol head, CHO. CH2OH, OH, H. So this is the chiral center. So if you change the configuration at one chiral center, compulsory that should give, compulsory that should give enantiomer. That's why with one chiral center, diastereomers are not possible. Okay, only enantiomers are possible. And to go from one diastereomer to another diastereomer, configuration changes at one chiral center is enough to get the diastereomers. Here in this case you see in the erythros and trios two chiral centers are there. In this erythros two OH groups are right side. In this diastereomer what happened? At this chiral center OH configuration changed. That is enough. Okay. Configuration changes at one chiral center enough to get the diastereomers. Okay. That's why these are points are very very important. Diastereomers have different physical and chemical properties and with one chiral center diastereomers are not possible. To go from one diastereomer to another diastereomer, configuration changes at one chiral center. Okay, so this is about the diastereomers. Okay.